morning guys so I just wanted to do a chatty get ready with me I talk about uh, quite a few different things my thoughts on bad habit and alter ego and how they could be the same company or not who knows uh, and then I also um, do this look with you and uh, yeah just a chatty get ready with me just trying to do um, some fun things with you um, so yeah if that sounds like something you would like to see keep on watching morning guys it's me Brandy welcome back to my channel I uh, just wanted to do a get ready with me uh, today so I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, I've been using this 4-3 beauty remedy uh, first after I've cleaned my face How's everybody doing today? I'm going to use uh, my Artemis palette today. Um, I promised a couple of people on my swatch video that I would do a chatty get ready with me. I'm gonna use my Artemis palette, kind of just, um, so I promised a bunch of people that I would um, do a chatty get ready with me when I did the alter ego videos. Um, so here's this one. I am off today, but I have a doctor's appointment for my daughter. She's just getting her regular checkup. So I figured since I'm doing that, I'll do this at the same time. Um, let's see. I did that. Next, I'm going to use my Almost Empty Elf Daily Hydration. Like, I have a backup, but as you can see, I've got some stress marks all over my face. And that's because the kids started school on Monday and honestly it's stressing me out because as you guys know I work at Amazon and my husband works at Amazon and I have had to um, take some time off in order to in order to ensure that my son um, gets started in school. So I think I'm going to switch my schedule at work to be able to help out with him the way that I should. So it's just pretty stressful because I'm waiting to hear back, you know, if I'm going to get the schedule change or not. So, yeah, that's pretty crazy, and it's not fun waiting for the answer on that, so, to be honest. And next, I'm going to use my Angel Veil. So, that's kind of what's going on in my life. Um, let's see. I was able to pick up the brand new Be Perfect uh, palette that's my purchase for uh, for this month. So as far as palettes go, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, wait for that to come, and then I'll do a little video for y'all when that comes. I'll do like a swatch video and maybe a few looks and of course there'll be looks over on Instagram I'm gonna do my no more baggage 
and I put this under my eyes. I find that it helps with puffiness. I really only notice that it helps with puffiness though. I mean, I think it's supposed to help more with like dark circles and all of that, but I don't 100% have dark circles. So I don't think that it helps me much. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then of course you guys know I've been using the e.l.f. Uh, hydrating Camo Concealer in light sand. Um, I've been loving this and I have not been doing foundation. Um, I don't know, it just isn't, it isn't something that I've been wanting to use lately. I do really like this Camo Concealer though. It's creamy. It covers fairly well. I hardly ever have to use more than what I'm putting on my face right now. So that's good. <clears throat> Gotta wet my beauty blender. Maybe I'll clean all my brushes later today. Maybe I'll do a video on that. I don't know if you guys, how you all clean your brushes. So I have a couple of theories about the Alter Ego um, company as a whole. And there's a reason that I have the thoughts that I do about the company. Um, I mean, if you just look, like a lot of their packaging is the same except for the name Alter Ego. Um, but everything else, the ingredients, the um, formulations, the way that they copy or dupe, not copy, but dupe the other companies, um, the types of company that companies that get duped. Um, it's just crazy how many similarities there are. Now, um, Alter Ego has stated I want to say on Instagram or okay and this is what where I'm gonna like kind of just tell you what I've heard now, I don't know if this is true or not but I heard that Alter Ego hired a bunch of people that worked for a bad habit so <clears throat> that is why a lot of the items are the same. But <clears throat> it's not just like a little bit of the same. For instance, <clears throat> I wanna say this past year or maybe even the end of last year, they came out with um, a line of liquid lipsticks and let's see I have them over here okay so let me just show you this this is crazy stuff so here is the bad habit lipsticks I've got this one I've got all six of them I had, there was like a, and they're still good. I've had them, this is the Bad Habit ones again, and I've had them forever. Now, the Alter Ego font is the same as the Bad Habit font. Exactly the same. And all of the shades for these lipsticks 
are the exact same shades that Alter Ego came out. They're named different names, but other than that, if you did a side-by-side -side swatch video, which I know numerous YouTubers have done it, um, they are the same. So, I mean, yeah, maybe it is a different company, but I mean, it is a different company, but I have a feeling that there was something that happened with Bad Habit that caused them to change their name to Alter Ego, which is their, their Alter Ego is their Alter Ego to Bad Habit. But if you think about it, they could always say that they changed their name to Alter Ego or the name is Alter Ego because their palettes are the Alter Egos to the palettes that they're duping. I mean, I think that's pretty cool that I just thought of that, but hey. Um, so again, I don't know if Alter Ego is bad habit, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised. I think on I think what happened is that they got into some kind of legal issues, um, maybe with duping, maybe with duping um, all of those palettes as bad habit. Um, Maybe they just had issues with the website where they sold Bad Habit. Um, I want to say, I can't remember right now what it was called, but I mean, everyone knew about this. Everyone knew about the website. We'll just say that. Like, I don't know anybody who didn't know about the website where you could buy Bad Habit palettes. So... I'm just using my Pro Glow kit for this bronzer moment. Again, I'm not going too crazy because I uh, will be wearing my mask today anyhow. So, I don't know why my camera does that. My nails are not shiny today and it's still doing that crap. I'm done with that, and let's see, I think I'm gonna use my this blush palette it's from Sephora. And I don't know what eye color I'm gonna use, but I think I'm gonna use this one. And there's no names. It's just a, just a Sephora palette. This is actually a pretty good um, cheek palette. And it's got, you know, like, it's got like the warm toned blush, the cool toned, and then it has like an in-between, which if you want to lean a little more cool toned, you can use that one. If you want to lean a little more warm toned, you can use that one. And if you want to be neutral, you can use this one. So I do like it. I'm not, I'm not going to do my highlight yet because I want to do that after I do my eyeballs. Okay, so as far as Alter Ego goes, um, I would say those are my thoughts on the two companies. Um, again, they're just my thoughts. It doesn't necessarily mean that what I'm saying is true because I don't know. I don't have a direct line with the company. I don't get their products sent to me, at least not yet. It'd be cool if they did, but uh, I mean, they, they'll never see this video. I mean, maybe they will, but 
I don't think they will. Um, and I'm just using my Anastasia eye primer. And I'm putting it in my hair, apparently. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh, you guys can notice, but I did my hair again recently. Um, and it's like a reddish brown color. I'm kind of waiting for it to lighten up a little and see if I like the color. If I don't like it, I'll go back to the purple. Crap. Yeah, that's one thing about getting makeup in your hair. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I have used this Ultra Ego. I'm going to show you what it looks like really quick. I have used this before. Um, besides the... I've used it before besides <clears throat> um, the swatch video. Now, I don't want to say this yet. Because I don't know if I love the cream to powder formula. I'm going to keep playing with it and see if maybe I'm just using it wrong. Because I have a feeling that I am. Um, so I'm going to try to use today like a stiffer brush. One that doesn't have, uh, let's see, maybe I'll use this one, one that's not so fluffy, we'll say, um, with the cream to powder formulas. So we will see how that goes. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use I'm gonna use this one here called Thrill. I don't know if that's a cream to powder formula or not, but we will see. Mm, and I haven't uploaded the other video because it's a silent tutorial. So it will be uploaded fairly soon. Probably like a day or two after I upload this video. I just wanted to get the chatty video um, done and posted before I do, or before I put up the silent tutorial. So I'm dipping in and I'm noticing that the pigmentation is really, really, really buildable. Like, I mean, you see I'm going in over and over just to get a little bit of pigment. And normally I like to have my eyeshadows have a little bit more pigment. I mean, I don't hate the formula. I'm not trying to say that I hate it. It's just, I would say it's easy to work with, but you have to build it. Like you have to, have to build it. So, I don't know. I just wanna keep using it and make sure that I really know what I think about it. And this is that cream to powder formula. It is going on. I mean, I don't hate it. So I think I'm going to kind of sheer out the edges of this. 
So what do you guys think about the whole bad habit, alter ego situation? I mean, do you think that I'm right? Obviously, no one's ever going to tell me that I'm right. No one's ever going to um, come to the conclusion that what I've said is actually the truth. But, and that's okay. I don't expect anyone, you know, to get a hold of me and be like, oh, you were right. I mean, that'd be kind of neat, but I 100% do not expect that. So. Oh, and now I'm putting on this one here, silent. And I put that in my outer corner. It's like an army green color. I'm not going for like a crazy look today. I kind of want to be just a little more minimal. Like I'm really digging my brush into this. There's like little to no fallout. I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally like the lightest dark army green ever. <laughs> I would say this is definitely not my favorite Alter Ego palette. So I was gonna say one that was my favorite, it would probably be the Naked Dupe or the Gold Palette Dupe. Those are both really cool. Okay, see, so now we're getting some color. I mean, that's not terrible. I, again, guys, I don't hate it. I just, I just want more. All right, so now I'm gonna go into Stealth and I'm gonna kind of deepen up that outer corner just a little bit more. I'm just gonna get the very outside. Like literally the outermost parts of my eye. I don't know if you guys remember my garden when I showed pictures of my garden and I don't even remember what video it was, but I want to say it was like a month ago. Well, our corn stalk is like higher than the ceiling or the roof of our house. Just to give you guys an idea of how huge my corn stalk my garden is just check this out that is the top of my house and that is the corn stalk <laughs> and then this is the rest of my garden there's my lemon my lemon trees and then we've got some long beans and then this is I think it's a gourd and then this is where looks like I need to water the plants. Um, that is our cilantro. And then this is our peppers. And that looks like they're starting to get some peppers. And then this is our huge tomato. It's humongous. So yeah. Isn't that funny? that I have like a corn stalk growing in my backyard. 
it's cool but it's so funny like I never grew a big ass corn before <laughs> okay so I'm just taking that army green called silent and I'm just putting a little bit more in my crease here like just for like the subtlest difference. I don't know if you can see that. So there's that. And then I think I'm gonna take a little gold moment. And I'm gonna take this one here called Spear. I'm going to put that on my lid and I'm going to spray that because I noticed that when you don't spray them, they're not, they're not very, I mean, they, the ones that I used in my last video were not very foiled. We'll say that. And see, they're a lot better when you spray them. I'll be totally honest. And I don't want it to be like a cut crease or anything because, again, I'm not going for a huge structured look, obviously. Kind of just... Kind of just slapping the shit on there and hoping it'll look good when I'm done. Now I'm gonna go back and forth between, well, let's see, I'll put the shimmer on the other eye. My water fell. Put the shimmer on the other eye. This is a really pretty gold color. So I really do like the colors in the palette. I mean, I wanted the Metropolis forever. And if the, if the creams and matte shades are like the ones in this palette, I'll be honest, I'm really glad that I did not spend a hundred and $20 on the Metropolis palette. Honest, honest to goodness. Like, I'm glad that I didn't spend that money because that's an expensive damn palette. So now I'm gonna take that Stealth. I'm gonna kind of go back between the gold and that Stealth shade. On both eyes just to kind of keep that really pretty outer green color all right so now I'm going to go into obscure which is this white one up here and I'm gonna use that just on my brow bone and then I'm gonna spray it for my inner corner. Also. And I did not put anything on my lower lid yet. I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do. I feel like the top is like, I don't know, I feel like the top's kind of like a moment, like a really subtle, sweet moment. I don't want to go crazy, not today at least, I don't want to go crazy on my lower lid. So I think I'm going to take this shade right here called Entice, which is just a really like light 
mustardy color. back into that obscure that I just wiped off on my inner corner highlight good job go me that eye booger so I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna leave it there it was kind of gross just hanging out all right so now I'm gonna take Here we'll do it one little bit more. Let's color switch that brush. Now I'm gonna take that entice again. And I'm just gonna put that in my lower lash. Again, I don't want it to be like super bright or anything. I just want it to be kind of like a shadow. Alright, so that is the look that I came up with for the palette. I know it's boring, but sometimes you gotta be boring. And sometimes you gotta be crazy. Today I just chose to be a little bit boring. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to use um, my Sephora palette. I'm going to use this highlight right here. This white one. It has kind of like a green to gold shift on it, which I think it'll look pretty with this eye look. Get hair on my brush. So let's just pop that right there. Ooh. That is beautiful. So guys, this palette, the Sephora palette, I got it on Sephora.com. I want to say last month or the month before, maybe even the month before that. When I got it, it was five bucks. And these are pretty good quality, like honestly look at that that's a freaking crazy like it's so shiny I'm probably gonna have to tone it down a little bit with my beauty blender so let's just go over that all right and then now I'm gonna do my brows um, and I have been really liking this one from elf the only thing i don't love is that i think i grabbed the wrong color um but with my hair being more of a red tint right now i'm okay with the wrong color just because it kind of It kind of matches my hair right now, so that's cool. One brow. I'm going to do the other brow now. I'll just comb through this real quick. I'll comb through this one. I don't know if I did that already. I don't remember.
I've been kind of trying to grow my brows out. So I haven't been plucking them unless it's absolutely necessary. So I've got like... Some of them are... So I can never get my eyebrows to look the same. So, yeah. Eyebrows are pretty much done. I don't think I'm gonna do any major, like, wings or anything today. I haven't been doing them lately. I don't necessarily love how they look on me right now. Which is crazy because it was my favorite thing. But I've noticed lately that a lot of transfer has been happening right here on my corner of my eye. Which, I don't know if that's just me. My eye is getting, you know, droopier or what it is. So I'm going to use my Thrive Cosmetics um, mascara. These are, this one's my favorite. I try not to use it all the time because I don't want to run out of it. But I will say a pretty good dupe for it is the e.l.f. The e.l.f. one. Well, look at that. My eyelashes look crazy with this. And the, cl the good thing about the Thrive Mascara is when you buy one, they donate a tube. So, and it's usually to like a woman's center. So, even though I just poked the fucking shit out of my eyeball. Oof. Ooh, that hurts. Maybe I should have been watching what I was doing. Just for a moment. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I figured. I should stop talking <laughs> and just do my fucking brows or my eyelashes. Anyways, this one, this e.l.f. smudge proof mascara is a pretty good dupe for that Thrive Cosmetics. And I want to say that that e.l.f. mascara is like six bucks and the Thrive mascara is like 24. So obviously it's a pretty good difference in price. And I'm going to use my MAC. I Colts in Minted. It's a pretty green color. I probably should have did that before I did the mascara, but whatever. I don't care. This eye, since I poked the shit out of it, is watering now like crazy. Okay, so for my lips. Um, what do I want to use? I mean, I'm just going to use something for the sake of this video. Um, but I'm going to use this Milani Moisture Lock. I... It was really glossy, but I love it. It feels really good on the lip. And I wanna say I got this on like Amazon for like 13 bucks or something. And it was a pack of three. So. Oh yeah, see, look at that. So this is the finished look. 
thank you so much for coming to my channel today, for watching me. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate it. Um, I love having you guys here. Um, I love having you guys comment down below and having conversations with you and getting to know you. Uh, do me a favor if you haven't already. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment down below. And then if you would like to uh, see more makeup related content from me, I am fairly active over on Instagram. Uh, I would say I post every day to every other day over there. So uh, yeah, just thank you again so much and we will see you uh, next time. I'll show you this look with my eyes closed. No, but anyways, this is the look. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye, guys.